There, the photos Aurora police are ashamed you'll see. We're sickened and we're angry. They're the photos Elijah McLean's friends, family, and supporters hope you'll remember. Our community is not going to be silenced. Today, police stood behind a podium to admit they had done wrong. Tonight, hundreds will let them know how they feel about it. None of this got changed because we asked politely. They stood on the ground where a young man lost his life. One placed an arm around another's throat and they smiled right into the camera, right into the face of his mother, into your face, into mine. Tonight, two officers who mocked Elijah McLean's death have been fired. Another has resigned. A fourth who was involved in McLean's death and commented on the photo has also been terminated. We will hear from Aurora Police in a moment. First, we want to show you how activists close to the McLean family are feeling tonight. There is not an excuse. There will be no more excuses. Time is up, APD. Time is up. We have had enough. We are going to agitate. We are going to be on the front lines until we get these officers not only fired, Rosenblatt got fired, not for killing Elijah, not for murdering Elijah, but for making fun of Elijah. That is the culture that we're fighting. These officers who today we learned posted amusing photographs because they thought it was just so darn funny to reenact the murder of a peaceful young man have finally been fired. Now they should be fired, of course, but all of the officers who are involved should be fired and they should be fired and not able to be hired in any other department right. where they will continue to kill. And Denver 7's Addie Guajardo and Megan Lopez are covering the fallout and demonstrations tonight. And we begin with Megan in today's blistering comments from interim police chief Vanessa Wilson. Megan. Yeah, that's right. And interim police chief Vanessa Wilson had some very strong words. She says she knows that there is national and even international attention on these photos. There's a lot of community anger and she did not hold back today. But the first thing that she did today was apologize to the family of Elijah McLean. Now, Chief Wilson said that she first met privately with the family this morning and showed them the photos before making them public. Then she met with the three officers involved and fired all of them. All of those officers are relatively young in their careers. We're learning more about who they are tonight. One of them, Erica Marrero, was involved in a shooting in 2019 that made headlines because a man was shot in his back and he said that police officers didn't identify themselves. A second officer, Jaron Jones, was suspended without pay last year for a DUI. Jones resigned for those photos. Marrero was fired along with Kyle Dietrich and Jason Rosenblatt. Now, Rosenblatt was one of the officers who was involved in Elijah McLean's death. Today, Chief Wilson, again, had some really strong words for her department. It shows a lack of morals, values, and integrity, and a judgment that I can no longer trust to allow them to wear this badge. These four don't get it. And if any officer in this police department disagrees and thinks that this was acceptable, I will gladly accept your resignation today. So those officers now have 10 days to file an appeal with the civil service. Uh, something else that Chief Wilson mentioned in that press conference is that she wants to make it mandatory for officers to report in inappropriate behavior like that. Those photos were only brought to her attention eight days ago, despite the fact that they were taken in 2019 by someone who said that they were disgusted by them. Now, not too far away from me, there is a protest going on for Elijah McLean's death. The family and the lawyers say that they want more to be done. And that's where we find Denver 7's Addie Guajardo. Addie. Well, Megan, this march is set to start at any moment. Take a look behind me. Hundreds of demonstrators have gathered to demand justice. They are holding signs. They are coming out here with flowers. There's even two armed people. They say they want to demonstrate that black people have the right to bear arms. Many out here tell me they are frustrated. More justice has been served for the photos that were released of those officers and the death of Elijah. Now the picture of the officers mocking the chokehold used on Elijah were taken last October. And one person I spoke with tells me she believes those surfaced because they have taken to these streets. Take a listen to what she had to say. Now people see the pictures and we're ready to march. They need to be charged. They need to be fired. 
now this march is expected to end at the Aurora Police Department headquarters, and we will be following them, so make sure to stay tuned with Denver 7. Reporting live in Aurora, Addie Guajardo, Denver 7. And as Addie said, we will be keeping a close watch on these protests, the march throughout this evening. Addie, Megan, thank you.